Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. What up everybody? TVO on a run in Woodford yet again. And as I'm cruising along, I see this rather interesting phenomenon here, which is a perfect example of what's going on in the diet wars right now. All these people fighting back and forth over which diet is superior and which one is perfect and which one is right or wrong. You've got ice on the bottom of a pond, covered in about a foot and a half of liquid water. But wait, that defies the laws of physics. Ice is less dense than water, so it floats, which is why ice always forms on the tops of lakes and ponds. Not as dense. So how is this ice on the ground on the bottom and the water on the top. It's defying physics. So imagine that this pond is your dietary experience. This is the world you live in. You live in this pond. And in your dietary pond, ice is on the bottom, water is on the top. And it's working for you. You've lost some weight, you're fit, maybe you're an athlete, you've got nice skin. Whatever the case is, you're like, this diet works. Ice forms on the bottom of ponds. Look, here it is. This is the world that I see. And you don't venture off to see that ice is forming on the tops of ponds and lakes elsewhere. You just stay in this one particular area and you're looking around and you're saying, well, I don't see any ice on the top of the pond anywhere that I can see here. But everywhere that I look around where I'm standing, I see ice on the bottom under the water. And this is exactly what happens in the diet world. You've got people standing in their pond, not looking elsewhere, and saying, this is what it's like for the rest of the world, for the rest of the population. This is universal because it's my experience, damn it! And I am the supreme ruler of the universe. So my experience is everyone's experience. But the rest of the world's like, wait a minute. Ice is on the top of the pond, not the bottom. You're kind of cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And you're like, no, there's ice on the bottom and that's the way it is and there's no debate about it and you're all a bunch of morons. Sorry, I'm getting a little emphatic, but this is what happens out there. You've all seen it. You gotta travel, you gotta look around, you gotta spend time studying diets that are completely alien to your diet, that completely go against your dietary philosophy. Study them, learn about them. Learn about the physics, learn about the physiology, learn about the biochemistry, learn it all so that you can see the bigger picture. Because the bigger picture is ice forms on the top because it's less dense. So why is this ice on the bottom? Why does it appear to be more dense? And why are the people that live in this particular pond a little bit more dense? Well, in this case, it's because the ice was snow at one point, and then the rest of the snow that's in higher areas melted, turned to liquid, and filled in the land here. There's kind of a depression here. So the water flowed on top of the snow, and the water turned the snow underneath to ice, and the snow is frozen to the ground. If it wasn't frozen to the ground, it would float up to the surface. So this ice didn't form beneath the water. It was there first and then the water flowed on top of it as the snow melted. So the same laws of physics are still applying here. This is not an anomaly. The laws of physics didn't suddenly change. And in the diet world, there is physiology, there is biochemistry. These things don't change, they're universals. And just because in your particular situation, it looks like the rules have changed, they haven't. You've got to consider other possibilities. You've got to consider that something else happened here and the order that you have things in is not the way that they actually occurred. Okay? So, do some research. Study everything you can, all aspects, all angles. See the bigger picture and you will be informed and people won't be able to take advantage of you. Okay? Alright, i got to run before I get drenched out here. See ya.